Number Both teams eight. are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Mississippi State's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up, and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's a team man, left, man, left. That makes it first and ten. Bounds at the 29-yard line. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Let's go. Check. Green 98 Weasel. Green 98 Weasel. And they make the stop at the 26. of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Mississippi State is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's good! Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goal posts. Three nothing, Mississippi State. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Slings it out there incomplete. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That brings us 30 to 10. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three! Gets it, he's in space. He's out of bounds at the 45. Down at about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and two. Easy, easy, easy. Tackle for a loss. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That'll bring up third and four. Here's third down, four yards to go. Ball on the 48 yard line. level at the 41. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination again. Go, 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 go. 
Quick throw, and he's got his man again. They'll bring him down at the 30. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From the 30-yard line, second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Black five, go! And down he goes around the 18-yard line. Five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. The 10. And he's tackled at the six-yard line. Quick throw, tackle at the one. Number 12 on the tackle at the one yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. To the end zone, intercepted. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah, this guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. From their own 20-yard line, first down. Mississippi State has a three-point lead. Good outside run there. With the that's a deep five on the way. That brings him second and five. Oh, here we go. Oh. Hey, hey, check 25. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. They're running, man. players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Second down and 14. Ball on their own 28. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Caught. And he's taken down at the 41 yard line. Call it a gain of 13 yards. That'll make it 31. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 44. He's at midfield. First down. And they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And this play is number eight on the drive. made at the 47. But well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Mississippi State is up a field goal. Fires out to his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29. First down. Makes it out to about the 16. That's a game of 13 on the way. That makes it first and 10. He might have a chance. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the six yard line. Call the game of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. He 
He's tackled at the three-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. Man left, man left. That makes it first and goal. Breaks the tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. He makes the PAT, a 12-play, 80-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 10-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. And for the corner, here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. And we've reached the end of one. Mississippi State's got a 10-point lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second Let's quarter. Make these babies cry all the way back home, man. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Go! Three, three. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you three. feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third and nine. Ball on their own 26. He fires this one. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That'll, That'll bring, bring up, up fourth, fourth and nine. nine. Oh, excellent punt. <laughs> he makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Football recovered by the defense. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After, after review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. From the 49-yard line, first down. And he throws it away. He's hit and taken down. He fights forward to about the 29. rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And here's another third down. Quick throw. Almost
almost intercepted. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. He gets it up and he splits the uprights. Like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brett, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important ball games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. From their own 25-yard line, second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick pass, intercepted. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game, and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. First and 10, ball on the 35. It, and he's hit hard immediately. Game two yards. Roger, Roger. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. Here we go, here we go. And they make the stop at the 22. Number nine on the tackle at the 22 yard line. Roger, Roger. First down. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, Let's go. Check. Scooped up by the offense. Nice run there as they work the outside. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here we go! The 10, the 5, touchdown, Bulldogs! Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 35-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 20 to nothing. Mississippi State is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ball game. Drop down at the 31. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. Up the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 35. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at the 42. He's 
Suggs at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And they finally make the stop at the four. If a defense isn't completely prepared for the option attack, they can give up some big plays. That third down right there is a perfect example. Defense has had two stops already down here. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. to make himself a more complete player. He has spent many extra hours catching ball after ball. And right there, it paid off. And he converts the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The Bulldogs obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. His offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense continue to try to put more points up on the board. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Just throws this one away. catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm. <laughs> he makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own 37. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Looking for his man, incomplete. That brings us third and ten. Hey, Mike's fifty. Mike's fifty. I'm coming. Black five. Black. He heaves it deep, and he's tackled at the seven. Spikes the ball. They're at the seven. It's second down. Green eye, green. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. on the extra point. Tennessee ready to kick this one off. 
He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mississippi State is up by six. Quick throw. Mississippi State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 29. They get five yards on the play. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Tackle at about the 41. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Three down, three down. From the 48 yard line, it's first down. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Going for it all to the end zone. And so it's another third down upcoming here. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He goes downtown. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. So we've played two quarters. The Bulldogs lead 20 to 14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense, pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offensive work. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. <laughs> And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. That last catch gives them 100 yards receiving. Well, they continue to put the football in his hands, and he continues to make plays for them. This guy right now clearly is the go-to guy for this offense. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. I thought it was pretty impressive they were able to stop it. I thought he had enough room to break away from everybody and take it all the way to the house. And he just gets rid of it. Second and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. He 
lets it fly. The defender had it and then dropped it. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Mississippi State with a six-point lead. Inside handoff. He's tackled at about the 21. And he gets a yard on the run. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football and check it down or take off and run with it. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. Game 15 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Great Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. Brought down around the 45 yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. Five wide. Gets it out quickly. The 10. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Mississippi State up six. He gets rid of this one. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Get him for a loss. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seventh. They'll bring him down around the two yard line. It's up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's good for a of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Red to go! And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. He fights forward to about the 40. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. 87's getting the ball. Hey, kill, kill, kill! 
Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From their own 40-yard line, third down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wants to throw outside. And it's caught to the 20, to the 10. And they finally push him out the seven-yard line. Fights forward to about the seven. Toss across the middle, and he's tackled at the one-yard line. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Touchdown, Vols. I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time, it worked to perfection. And he adds the extra point. Tennessee is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. To be able to come out and score in your first drive tells you a lot about what they did during the half. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Mississippi State is up two. He tackles him for a loss. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Second and 14. Ball on the 21. Tackle around the 42-yard line. That's good for a gain of 21 yards. That makes it first and 10. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Check, check. Green 94. Complete. He's got room. That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. check. Here we go! Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. From the 47-yard line, second down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it 35. Hand off and he won't make it. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 23-21, Mississippi State. He 
into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And a quick throw. Excellent open field tackle. They'll work the left, and he stopped behind the line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From their own 25-yard line, third down. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Mike 50, Mike 50. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Steps out of bounds around the 37-yard line. That makes it second and six. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. And he hits him hard at the 32. That's a loss of five yards. That makes it third and 11. It's third down and long, and losing by a possession, I would expect them to have to go to the air. Four down, four down. 87's getting the ball. He's going right. He's on the run. And he hauls that one in. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. About the 27 yard line. Gets out to around the nine. Outside for a nice game. That's a game of seven. That brings him second and goal. And he tackles him hard at the one. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That makes his third and goal. Hey, kill, kill, kill! He's in! Touchdown! And they take the lead. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Tennessee holds a four-point lead. He scrambled. And they won't get the two. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Up the middle. And they get nice yardage on that run. He's to the 40. That makes it first and ten. Five, five. Ready, ten, ten. Six, Six, two. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. And he's level at the 48. Number nine on the tackle at the 48 yard line. That brings us to the one. Ready. 
Makes it to the 37. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Catches it, and he's punished. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it third There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Once it all, going deep. Doesn't get there. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets out to Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Go four, go three, four, Gains his way to mid. What a first down. Time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. He's at the 40. He makes his way out to about the 35. The defense might have just run out of chances with that first down right there. This offensive line definitely left it all in the field today. He makes his way at the 22. From the 22-yard line, first down. Gets out to about the 21. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. You can't block me. You can't block me. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Green eye. Green eye. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The ball game's over. The Volunteers come out on top, 27-23. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.